At this point, we appreciate the need for sig figs, and we've learned how to show and read measurements. But what if there are calculations involved with the measurements? How do you know how many sig figs to show after this calculation? For example, if you had to add some measurements together and they came from different sources, say, then how many sig figs would we show in the answer? In this tutorial, we'll consider the addition or subtraction of measurements. Now recall that there's only one uncertain digit at the end of each measurement. So let's line these numbers up for addition and we'll analyze the situation. And we'll flag the uncertain digit in each one of these measurements being added. That is, identify the last digit in each number as uncertain. And then we go ahead with the addition per normal. And now let's track these uncertain digits and we'll see which is uncertain in our answer. That is, if any uncertain digit was involved in a column addition, then the result of that column addition must also be uncertain. So the uncertain 4 here, yeah, that's still uncertain. And in the next column over, the uncertain 5 causes the resulting 7 to be uncertain. And likewise, the uncertain 2 causes the 3 to be uncertain. And we look at it, and we see that we have three uncertain digits in our answer. But we only want one uncertain digit. This 3 looks great, but we have to get rid of the other uncertain digits. We do know that the number to the right of our 3 is a 7, that is 5 or greater, meaning that we can round the remaining uncertain digit up to a 4. And therefore our final answer is 21.4 grams. For a subtraction, you would use the exact same type of alignment rationale to ensure that you have one uncertain digit. To review, when dealing with an addition or subtraction of measurements, you'll line up the decimals, do the operation, and then track the uncertain digits down to determine which digits in your final result are also uncertain. From there, you simply adjust the result to ensure that there is only one uncertain digit remaining.